Hey, this is Tyler coming at you. We are doing a couple of different 8-bit projects today. Uh, first one I'll link back in the description. You can see that coin box I just covered up there, but who we're going to be doing first is Mario. I made a couple of these for uh, Christmas presents for some people, and right now I'm just basically getting the general layout done and uh, putting it all in the right pattern so I can see how it goes. If you aren't wanting to do something like this, I would recommend Googling 8-bit or grid and whatever character you kind of want to look at. It was really helpful to just have something you can print out and not have to count out every single square for. So here's where I start the actual assembly and the glue up with this, all these little pieces. I thought I was going to end up having to use clamps on all of it, but it turned out that the suction just from the glue on the little pieces was enough to keep them together while they dried. Um, I wasn't really anticipating how much finishing all the little pieces would need after the table saw. They weren't all quite square and they had a little bit of, you know, edges on and I had to get all of those edges cleaned up so that they would go together in a relatively square manner. Now all these lines you see here, I'm actually going to have to go back and do that same sort of sanding on them after they're all glued together and dried. Really just dial them in a little bit more and try and get more of the inconsistencies out of them. It's going to kind of start turning into be a theme of the glue up of this whole piece. I'm really just doing a lot of sanding and finishing and fiddling with everything. One of the problems I did come up with is that a lot of the woods were different hardnesses, so some would sand quicker than the others, and especially if there was one on one side and it wasn't symmetrical, I'd sometimes come into issues with the line kind of going a little bit off kilter, so I'd have to recorrect that. I think there was a couple of lines that ended up a little bit skinnier that, I don't know, probably nobody else would notice. But. So here we're finally starting to go from the, all the horizontal sections to all the vertical sections. In a second here, I'm going to show you a jig I put together. I was having some issues when I was putting these long pieces together that they would curl a little bit because the edges weren't exactly flat. So I made up this little jig, and I figured I could at least get one edge of it flat and only have to be sanding on one side of all of these really long lines. So I was starting to come to the part of the project where it was starting to get fun after all the time spent just cutting out little blocks and laying stuff out. I'm actually starting to get everything glued together and be able to see how it's going to stack up, so to speak, when it actually is all together. So I finally got Mario's head done. I actually did start using clamps with these top bigger pieces. Um, pieces were long enough that they had a little bit of flex in them and they didn't quite stick together with that suction method I was using earlier. And that's Mario's head. Put this next shot in here just to show you kind of exactly how far off these things did get when I was gluing them together. So of course it's back to my old friend, old friend the belt sander. Trying to get everything a little bit straight again and get these final joints ready to glue together. So on these last pieces of Mario's torso, I guess I should just kind of mention why I was putting them together in layers like this. I had tried to lay them out and get everything smooth and just put everything together with one big uh, glue up. What I was finding was that it was kind of hard to keep each individual square lined up with the next on top of it. Uh, so I ended up doing it down a little bit. The other nice part about it was there's some kind of better places to clamp when you put it together like that because of the irregular shape. A lot more little ledges and little places to put it. By this point, these two last pieces are getting thick enough where it's a little bit hard to just use the clamps to kind of get rid of that extra little gap. So I had to do one last trip over to the belt sander, get those things flat, get a little bit of glue, and get them stuck together. And at this point, it probably goes without saying that I was very happy to be done with just gluing all these little pieces of crap together. All those last clamp placement is a little bit unfortunate. Sorry about that clamp, Mario. Oh, mamma mia! So the only part left to do here is just a lot of sanding. I ended up using boards that weren't quite exactly the same thickness. I didn't think it was going to be that big of an issue, uh, but then being an eighth off was actually quite a bit to get sanded down. Uh, I edited out quite a bit of sanding on this video. I have been doing a lot of rub on poly with my recent projects, and I did that with this one too. I found a new brand. I can't remember the last one I used, but it came out really dull and would kind of dull out the wood. Uh, this one is Minwax High Gloss. Obviously, you get a glossier finish with it depending on how many coats you use. But the nice part about it is you can really build up the finishes and really make it super shiny if you want to, or you can leave it a little bit more matte like I did with this one.
Now here I'm just kind of trying to go through in my head and figure out where exactly and how exactly I'm going to mount this hanger for it. This is intended to put up on the wall eventually. I didn't want it to sit proud of the wall, so what I did was I got these Forstner bits, uh, got the majority of the material out, just the thickness of the little metal bracket there. Then you can see me coming back through here with the chisel and uh, just basically getting the whole thing recessed back in enough so it's not going to hang out far away from the wall. Can be kind of this next step is one that for some reason I always skimp out on. It takes about two seconds, but it is pre-drilling like when you don't do this, I always end up splitting the wood or stripping the screw head off of the screw. I get into this before I can drill the holes. <laughs> so, with that final detail, Mario is done. Just gotta get him wrapped up. This was a present from my little brother Nicholas. If you want to see how I made the coin box from the beginning of the video, I will put a link to the video in the description. It's also going to show a little bit more about how I made the individual squares for both of these projects on the table saw. So, hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave them down below. Thank you.